In my previous video, I showed how you can use Excel to easily create a subnet calculator where you could enter the IP address here along with the subnet mask and it would convert it to binary and then tell you what the network is. Basically, calculate the network address. I also configured it so that you could put in 8 bits here and calculate what the magic number would be given the position of the last bit here. So for instance, if it was 1, 1 and then 6 zeros, it would tell you the magic number 64 and the network address here. And if you put in or changed the subnet mask, it would then reconfigure to tell you what the network would be. So another thing that I wanted Excel to give me was the ability to look up the ASCII character codes. I find myself always going to the web to look at ASCII character code charts. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if in Excel, I could just type the key here, like let's say an A, and then it would show me the ASCII value, the hex value, and the binary value of the character that I type in here. And so and you can see that I've been able to do that, and it was pretty cool. And after I got Excel to show me that, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could also have it show me the HTML color codes or the hex colors? So if I put in the 8-bit values here for RGB, like let's say red 22, green 122, and blue 12, it would show me the hex numbers for it, the binary values, and would also show me the hex characters combined together. And if I click this button, set color, it changes the color and shows me the color. So that's pretty cool. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that really easy in Excel. So I'll move this over to the side and we'll put in the formulas so that you could do it. Now, what you wanna do first of all is give yourself these cells and put in the text and design it however you wanna do it. But what we're gonna do is we'll put in a character key here like A and then we're gonna convert it to ASCII, hex, and binary. And we're also gonna put RGB values here like 2, 45, 12, and let's say something like 44 here. And we'll convert them to hex and a binary, and then we'll also put the whole hex characters here, six hex characters here, and then a button that will actually change the background color of the cell to the color that we want based on our RGB values. So we'll start off here. So for this A, what we wanna do is we'll click on cell C14 here, and the formula is easy. It's just equals code, and then the cell that you wanna target, which is A14, and then check mark, and you can see that the A is ASCII value 65, just using the code function in Excel. If I change this to an F, capital F, it gives me the ASCII value. Also lowercase, a lowercase F is a different ASCII value. So then for the hex value, what we're going to do is, we're going to, for the, ask, for the hex value, we're gonna say, okay, this will be a formula like this. It'll be decimal to hex, and then in between parentheses, the cell that we're targeting, in this case, it's C14, so C14, and then you'll wanna carry the hex characters two places. So you put comma two, because you want two places. Even if the hex character is just, let's say, a five, you, want it, you don't want it just to be five, you want it to show as zero five. So I'll put check mark here, and you can see hex value is 66. If you wanna add a little x, a lowercase x in front of this so that you know it's a hex value, what you could do is, is add a char function here, uh, and inside the char function, code number 120 is an X, and then put an ampersand to add it to the decimal to hex conversion. And if you do it just like this, and check mark, you'll get an X66. And then the binary conversion is like this, equals, we're gonna say decimal to bin, to binary, and we're converting C14, and we wanna convert it eight places, or eight bits, so comma eight, and it looks just like that. So that shows me the binary value of 102. So an F, a lowercase f, is 102 in decimal, the ASCII value, in hex, it's hex 66, 
and in binary it's 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now what about the HTML color codes here? We've put in some values here. So RGB, so in the computer you've got 8 bits for red, 8 bits for green, 8 bits for blue. In other words, 0 to 255, 0 to 255, and 0 to 255. Well, let's first of all convert it to hex. So for hex, it's going to be equals decimal to hex, open parentheses, the cell that you're targeting, which in this case is this cell, and I want to carry this two places. So it's going to look just like that, and check mark. So it's F5. 245 is F5, and our formula looks correct. Then I can just distribute this with the fill handle to the other two cells, and now I've got my hex conversions, so decimal to hex right here. Now what about binary here? All right, here comes the formula. Equals decimal to bin to binary, and the cell that you're going to target, which is this one, whoops, uh, decimal to binary, I'm targeting this cell right here, which is C18. So C18, and I want to carry it eight places. All right, check mark. So there it is. And then I'll just fill it. So that distributes the formula to the other two cells. And now I've got this working. Now in this color cell right here, which you can see I've merged it. I've merged A, 18, 19, and 20 into one big cell or so that spans the three rows. So right in here, what I want to do is, is I want to show the hex code, which would be F5 combined with OC combined with 2C. So to do that, the formula in here will be equals the concatenate formula. So concat, open parentheses, and then what you're going to concatenate. I'm going to concatenate D18, 19, and 20. So D18, comma, D19, comma, D20. Close parentheses and check mark. And you can see there is the hex color, these three cells just concatenated together, one right after the other. Now, I also like to have a little X in front of this to know it's hex, and maybe even a zero X. So I'll put in front of my formula here, after the equal sign, zero ampersand, which will add a zero to the beginning, and then char, character 120, close parentheses, and an ampersand. And now if I hit check mark, it'll show 0x, F5, 0c, 2c. So we know it's a hexadecimal number, and this is the code for whatever this color is. Now to change the background color to match the RGB values, or to the match the hex color code, what you need to do is you need to use the uh, developer tools built into Excel, Visual Basic. You need a little Visual Basic scripting to get to change the background color here. So for that, what you want to do is you're going to go to File, Excel Options, open up Excel's Options, click on Customize Ribbon, and turn on the Developer tab. The Developer tab. I'll check mark Developer tab, click OK, and now you've got access to the Developer tab. And the Developer tab has Visual Basic Editor, Macros, and it even has this little insert tool here and you can insert a button. So I'll click there and then draw my button. So there is the button. So now I have this command button that I've created. What I can do is, is I can right click on it and I can edit it and edit the text here. So I'll change the text to set color and so that's done. So now it says set color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and say view code. And when I right click on it in view code, it opens up this code editor. And you can see it's ready to go. It gives me the beginning here and the end of uh, a function here. And what I want to do is, and this is, so this is command button one click. What I need to do is, is type in the command here. And the command that I want to execute, or the visual basic that I want to execute, looks like this. I'll just paste it in here. And it's range 
cell A18 in between double quotes dot interior dot color. So you're going to change the interior color of cell A18 equal to RGB and then range C18 comma range C19. So cell C18, cell C19, and cell C20. And that looks pretty good. So what I can do now is just close this. And then I need to switch out of design mode. So I'll turn off the design mode button. And now if I click set color, it should set the color and you can see it set it to red. Let's test to see if it works if I change this to like 22 and click set color. You can see I get a different color here. You can see it's, uh, let's increase the blue. How about 244? All right, and set color, and you can see it's blue. And what if I increase the green and click out so it changes the hex and changes the values, and then click the set color button, and you can see I've got a lighter blue now. So now I have this cool set color button that will not only not only will it show me the HTML color codes, but you can actually see the color by clicking the set color button. If I need to go in and, and edit the Visual Basic, you click on design mode, and then I can click on this button, right click, and view the code again, and edit the code. So that's it. Now the last thing you wanna do is, to save your file, you're gonna to need to save it differently. So what you'll do is you'll do a file, save as, and you're going to save it not as a regular Excel workbook, but as an Excel macro enabled workbook. So that's different. Excel macro enabled workbook and save. And now I'm all good.